Hey guys, today I want to talk about why all expats should have a good attorney on retainer all the time. But before we start, I want to talk about this. We have live streams on every Saturday night where you can ask us questions or whatever. Um, and anytime you guys want to join us on the live stream, just go on. It's at 9.30 p.m. Manila time. You can, you can look it up on my channel. We'll be on live stream then. So for you guys that have been asking, it's pretty easy to get on there. You just go to my channel and you'll see the live stream probably already starting to run or whatever. But, but, but anyway, I want to talk about lawyers on retainer and the reasons why. A lot of guys have been calling me up and asking me about, you know, buying motorcycles, buying cars, things like that. That's something you really should have an attorney on to check to make sure it's free and clear and you don't have any issues with that. Also, you want to make sure that leases are good. You can just send a, a, a picture of the lease to the attorney and check it out and make sure that it's good. And she'll tell you, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Or if you're having problems getting your, your, um, your deposit back or something like that, you can also call up the attorney. They can call, call the, um, the, rent, the, the uh, landlord or whatever, make sure that's, getting, that's taken care of. But all that stuff is stuff that you need a good attorney for. Also, if you have problems with a, a, a ex-girlfriend or something like that, possibly she's coming to your door harassing you or whatever, uh, some of that stuff can be taken care of by a barangay official. You might want to go down and talk to your barangay captain. But also, it's good to have an attorney in case she starts falsely accusing you of something or whatever. It's nice to have that attorney on your side and able to show up or whatever. And if you have that attorney on retainer, they already have some money to get going and starting on the case or whatever. So they can show up, you know, at the at the police department if you get arrested or some God forbid you get falsely accused. You want to make sure that you're always safe here, and that's one of the things that you need to be safe is have an attorney here, not just friends, but an attorney, because that attorney is going to be able to try to get you out. You know, if you do get into any sort of trouble, you get in a fight or something. You know, God forbid a, a bad car accident or whatever, the attorney can help you with that, especially like motorcycle accidents any of that stuff, you know, landlord disputes, um, possibly you're having problems with an expat or something like that, or, or, or a Filipino that's harassing you or something like that, call your attorney, you know, and you can always do that. And that's the good part about having an attorney. Also guys, if you need that attorney's um, number and you need her information and you need, need one in Manila, contact me, contact me because I have a fantastic attorney here she also does wills. Um, she does when you buy a home, she'll help you buy a home or whatever, real estate transactions. She's fantastic. And, and you do need a will over here, guys. We've talked about that tons of times. If you're having problems with an insurance company, she can take care of that also. Make sure that you, know, you, you, you have her for things like that. If they're, if they're refusing to pay for something that they're supposed to pay for, call her up and say, hey, listen, this insurance company is not paying for this. I'm in trouble. Um, you get held illegally buy a hospital here. Good to have an attorney because uh, you might have a lawsuit on your hands and you know you might have to sue them because they're illegally retaining you in the hospital or what have you. Any of these things are, are good things to call up an attorney. Just run questions by them. Check on Cenomars, um, things like that. They do, like I said, the registrations. They'll, they'll do some things like that for you. They'll run up and do all this paperwork and it's so reasonable. It's not like you're paying 250 to $500 for an attorney back in the States. And that's what an attorney charges you back in the States. They charge really, really good money now back in the States just to do a few small things. They're charging you 250 to $500 for an hour's worth of work now back in the States where over here, uh, it could it could be anywhere from twenty to forty dollars, you know, and you can and sometimes the, you get free phone calls. You can talk to her and ask her questions or whatever, and that's that's the fantastic part about having an attorney over here. It's always good to have her, on, you know, there just to run questions by her, you know. And I've called, you know, my girlfriend has called our attorney several times on different things, and she's always been there. She's met with us. She helped us with our will. A lot of the expats have done their wills with her. Um, some of them have done land transactions with her. Some of them, have, I think some of them have done um, things with um, prenuptials or something. I, I think one of them did. I'm not sure if they did it with her though. Um, but she can write out a prenuptial for you, you know, or they also do a, a postnuptial, which I'm not sure how good those are, but she can tell you how good they are in the Philippines. But you can think about stuff like this. You know, if you, if you, you need something written out by her, you know, hey, run it by her and say, hey, listen, would this here work out? You know, uh, would, is this is this going to be legal here in the Philippines? Will I be able to do a prenuptial and a po or a postnuptial? You know, when you're buying a piece of property, you might want to do that. 
anyway, guys, I just want to talk about that today. I thought it'd be a great thing to, to discuss today because we've been talking about attorneys off and on, and it is some, something you should you should have her on retainer all the time. Have the attorney on retainer so that way, quick phone call, boom, you you can so, resolve all your issues with her. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And uh, be sure to join us tonight for our live stream at 9.30 tonight. And you can check it out. It's going to be 9.30 Manila time on the Philippine Info Channel. God bless, guys. Take care.